Welcome to another Reaper blog video. Today we're looking at Smooth Operator from Baby Audio. This is a plugin that is kind of like a multiband compressor, kind of like a dynamic EQ, designed to remove resonances and smooth out the sound of your tracks. I've actually never used a plugin like this before. Let's explore this together. So Baby Audio actually sent me a bundle of their plugins to check out and make videos about. You can consider this to be a paid or sponsored video, but they're not going to see this video in advance. They're not going to fact check or have any influence on the content other than I didn't spend my own money on this. That is my bias towards this plugin. Let's start off by looking at the website. So this is the Baby Audio website and we've got a preview of the UI, you can see the price is $69 US. And so let's read through some of these things that they have to say about this. Intelligent plugin that eliminates harsh resonances and brings out clarity, adapts to your audio in real time to combat fatigued frequency areas, lets you sculpt and shape your tonal balance without nasty side effects. Combines the benefits of resonance suppression, spectral compression, and equalization into one smart workflow. It offers a simplistic alternative to a traditional channel strip and is your new best friend when it comes to combating cluttered mixes. Use the plugin to sculpt your tonal balance while the algorithm automatically eliminates harsh resonances in the background. Smooth Operator analyzes your incoming audio at your DAW sample rate, example 44,100 times per second, and constantly adapts its setting to attenuate the frequencies that have excessive energy buildup. This gives your tracks a smoother, more musically balanced frequency response. And then they explain a little bit further about how the spectral processing algorithm works. The easiest way to understand spectral processing is to think of it as manipulating the building blocks that make up a digital signal rather than the actual signal. Our algorithm uses Fast Fourier Transform, or FFT, to break the incoming audio into tiny particles, which are analyzed and processed separately before being put back together again. This all happens in real time and allows a far more surgical approach to resonance detection and tonal rebalancing than would be possible with traditional audio effects. While most spectral tools focus on audio restoration, we wanted Smooth Operator to be about creative expression. The plugin is meant for actively shaping your tone and making your mixes sound more musical. Use it to compress, EQ, and purify in one simple process. So this is a pretty popular plugin that I have not really paid attention to until, well, until they sent it to me. I wasn't sure if I needed a plugin like this, and so I didn't really explore it. As they said in the text, this is going to analyze the incoming audio as it comes in, automatically detect and adjust resonances or, or whatever pitches are coming in. It can kind of rebalance something like multiband compression or something like dynamic EQ, but it does a really good job of tracking pitch as well as kind of just making it all sort of automatic. There is a threshold control that we can adjust here. And then we can kind of shape the balance or the kind of the weighting of the lows and highs with the dots on the sides of this graph. And then there's two points where we can go kind of more surgically and, and shape the curve further. Double clicking will reset that to default. On the bottom, we've got a solo button, which will solo whatever frequency band is under the mouse, uh, when your mouse is over the dot anyways. And then the focus control will go from, when it's at zero, it will be broadband, it will kind of ignore the curve. And when it's at 100%, it's automatically tracking and compressing or however it's doing its processing based on the incoming signal. There's an output slider, it defaults to 80%, and it seems to automatically adjust the output level as you adjust the threshold. And then the overall peak level is shown in this box down here. At the top, starting on the right side, we've got a, a reset button, a mode button for high res and classic mode, and a sidechain input enable. In the center, we've got presets. And on the left side, we've got three different color options. So pink, green, and blue. I would suggest that if you are using a bunch of these in your project and you're using sidechain on some of them, the ones that have sidechain enable a different color that can help you kind of stay organized throughout the project. I've got this on this base here and let's just see what this does as we pull the threshold down.
So you can hear there, when I turn the threshold way down, it still kind of keeps the same overall level. And because we've sucked out so much of the lows, those higher resonances or, or harmonics are coming through more. And as we turn down the threshold, you can hear that a lot of the bass was being sucked out. Um, and we can adjust that using this, uh, the curve tool here. And then using this, we can adjust, make it more of like a, a low pass. We can make it more accurate with the focus control or turn the focus control down and get more of a broadband, kind of a volume control sort of effect, more of a overall compression. So that's the basic operation. You adjust the threshold until you start to see some of the white outline pulling out some of the resonances. You can have more or less of the lows, more or less of the highs, and target certain frequencies as well. Now, I've got this actually routed so that I have four inputs here, and I've got the drums. So I'll just solo the drums so we can hear that. Okay, so there's a hi-hat kick and a snare in that pattern that is going to trigger the compression or the processing on this when we enable the sidechain input. So soloing the bass and the drums. So I've just uh, muted the output of this we can see that the kick, snare, hi-hat pattern is triggering the compression on the bass or the processing on the bass. Spectral compression, it's hard to explain what this is actually doing, targeting certain frequency ranges. We can, we can apply that less to the snare trigger or less to the hi-hat trigger or pulling it down, it happens more often when those instruments are coming in. Or we can make it ignore the lows or do more compression triggered by the lows of that pattern. So that's the sidechain function, and let's, uh, let's hear that in action. So we'll make it so that it's just the snare. Can mouse wheel over this to make it a tighter or, or wider curve. And I'll bypass it. So I think that's a pretty interesting way of working. You can use this as kind of surgical or broadband as you like. Also experimented with EQing the sidechain signal before it hits this plugin. And I found that to be kind of interesting. And let's move on to looking at this on the drums. I'll bypass this. So I'm only applying this processing on the highs. On this percussion loop, it's kind of automatically finding those, those pokey parts here. I'll bypass it.
it kind of just softens things very slightly. And if we hear this in context with the other instruments, it kind of just fits better in the mix. And that's the whole point of this plugin. You can EQ with all of your normal tools, compress things like that, add this on where things are still not fitting right, and I think it might help. Here's another, um, this is a, a top loop. I'm doing quite a lot with this one to, to really filter this, so I'll bypass it. So Smooth Operator is kind of taking out the trashy quality of that hi-hat, and I really like that. All right, going to the next track here. I've made this less sensitive to the lows, and I've taken out extra at uh, 3100 hertz. And I've got a second instance on here triggered by the bass line. I'll bypass both instances. So it's just automatically lowering the lows whenever that bass line is happening. And that helps it fit better in the mix. And then I've got some sort of uh, vocal sample glitch thing. Uh, this one's not side-chained, but I'm taking out uh, some 180 hertz and 8,000 hertz. It's a fairly subtle smoothing effect. So I'm going to play this once through all together, and I'm going to turn off all the processing so you can hear what sort of A-B difference this does. So there's a pretty big difference without any processing. All these loops are kind of clashing in different frequency ranges, um, overall kind of sounding boxy and, and muddy. Smooth Operator makes things fit much more smoothly together. You know, I'm not doing any other compression or EQ limiting and Smooth Operator kind of doing a lot of the work for us automatically. So this is kind of like a dynamic EQ, kind of like a multiband compressor, kind of like Soothe and Track Spacer, kind of like Ozone's Spectral Shaper, but I think they kind of approach this in a different way. And this could be useful in mastering or just in a mix where there's a lot of tracks and you just kind of need to smooth out some of the harshness, fit things further into the background without aggressively EQing or anything like that. Pretty smart, it's easy to use, a little hard to understand, uh, but I think the results are very good. If you found this plugin interesting and want to support the channel, there will be an affiliate link in the description below that will help out the channel, that will get you a plugin, possibly at a discount, depending on if they're running sales at the moment. But uh, yeah, hope you found this interesting. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, support the Reaper blog through Patreon, and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. Mm -hmm.